Hello, and welcome to Mail Store Tech Tips. My name is Dee, and today I'd like to show you what you need to look out for if you want to move your archiving environment from an on-premise Exchange installation to Microsoft 365, and what steps you need to take. And just one thing before we begin. In this video, we're assuming that you're using Active Directory as your directory service, with the default settings as shown in our manual. Just as when you're migrating an email environment, Moving your archiving system in MailStore Server requires thorough planning, and that includes updating your software to the latest version. If possible, we recommend that you verify all the changes you've made in a test environment beforehand, as you cannot reverse them afterwards. Detailed information on this subject is available in our help article. Before we begin with the first step, we launch MailStore Server in safe mode in order to prevent any background processes or users from intervening in the process. Next, we'll synchronize the directory service in MailStore Server with the current settings to make sure that all the user data is complete and up to date. In this case, we're going to use the SAM account name, so we now need to use MailStore's migration scripts to rename all the users and archives in MailStore Server. Here too, you will find the corresponding scripts in our help article. Another important fact to note is that these PowerShell scripts require Windows PowerShell 3.0 or a later version. When performing these steps, please make sure that you've enabled access to the MailStore Administration API and the MailStore Server service configuration. To rename the usernames and archive folders, we now edit the scripts mss one prepare usersps one and MSS2 update users.ps1 and the PowerShell ISE and adjust these values to our MailStore server installation. Now press F5 to run the script MSS1 prepare users.ps1 and the PowerShell ISE. By doing this, you'll create the file mailstore-users.txt which contains a list of all the current MailStore server usernames. We now add the new usernames immediately after the equal sign. If a username is not to be changed, for example, the internal admin user, just leave the corresponding line as it is. Then we save the file mailstore-users.txt, which should now contain both the old and the new usernames. Now press F5 to run the script MSS2 update users.ps1 in the PowerShell ISE. This script now renames the users and their archive folders in MailStore Server and sets the archive folder privileges accordingly. So that you can sign into MailStore Server with the Microsoft 365 credentials rather than with Active Directory, you now need to migrate directory services synchronization to Microsoft 365 Modern Authentication. As you can see here, I've already set up a connection to Azure AD. You will also find step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this in our tech tip, Microsoft 365 and MailStore Server for new customers, user synchronization. At this stage, we run the synchronization process in test mode only. We then verify the results with the help of the user list shown and can see that our migrated users are all shown as having been changed. Finally, we run the test authentication function to make sure that users can sign in properly via Microsoft 365. Now that we've almost completed the switchover, we can now configure the new Microsoft 365 profiles. In order to archive Microsoft 365 mailboxes, MailStore Server provides dedicated Microsoft 365 archiving profiles that support modern authentication. Existing Exchange archiving profiles cannot be used to archive Microsoft 365 mailboxes because they only support basic authentication when signing users or service accounts into Exchange Server. For detailed information here, please refer also to the Microsoft 365 Modern Authentication Email Archiving Implementation Guide or see our Tech Tip video. Microsoft 365 does not support journaling mailboxes that are hosted within Microsoft 365. Therefore, if you're using MailStore Server to archive all your emails the moment they are sent or received, you'll need to set up a journaling mailbox that is hosted outside the Microsoft 365 environment. 
MailStore Gateway is a free solution that allows you to host journal mailboxes within your company's own network. Please click on the link to our tech tip video to see how to set this up. You can now delete all of the archiving profiles and jobs in your local Exchange server environment. Finally, to complete the migration process in MailStore Server, we need to perform the following steps. First, close any MailStore client sessions that are still open and then relaunch the MailStore Server service. Then, we check the names of the archive folders, run the new Microsoft 365 archiving profiles manually one after another and verify the result. And before we close, if you've configured single sign-on by specifying the server name of the MailStore server computer, together with the authentication method Windows Authentication Using Group Policies for the MailStore client or for the MailStore Outlook add-in, you'll need to change the setting under Authentication and Group Policies to Basic Authentication. This completes the migration process in MailStore server. Feel free to reread all the steps in our detailed online help articles. If you have any questions or problems, we will be happy to help. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon.